Hey, this is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. Uh, you may have seen one of my earlier videos uh, called Saxophone Repair Topic Post Fit where a rod was not fitting inside of a post and I mentioned bushing. Now, if you look closely at the rod going through this post, you can see that there is a small piece of metal, a small cylinder of metal, actually soldered inside the post uh, to tighten up the fit of this rod. You can see it with the different colors. There's kind of a ring around the post there. Um, and you can also probably see, hopefully see, that I've faced it flat. Come on, focus. There you go. Um, now the purpose of a bushing is to take up play inside the post, which takes an awful lot of playing to do damage or poor fit from the factory. On this particular saxophone, a 1939 balanced action that's been relacquered at least once, uh, my vote goes for just heavy usage. And someone put these bushings in quite a while ago. Um, I faced them flat as part of my mechanical rebuild on the saxophone, and you should be able to see that the post, or that the rod doesn't move inside the post, which is exactly what you want. Because if you've got uh, movement of the rod inside the post, then no matter how tight your keys are around the rod in between the posts, they're still going to move, uh, which is going to make for number one, uh, pad seal that is never the pads never sitting in exactly the same spot as the key kind of rotates around and pivots um, and two the adjustments where keys are uh, interacting with each other and interrelated and force is traveling long distances um, through complicated linkages uh, is going to make them not work correctly because there will be uh, loss of motion within the mechanism so that is a post bushing. Hopefully you see what I'm talking about there. There's the post going through the rod or the uh, rod going through the post and inside the post there is a small piece of or a small cylinder of metal soldered inside of it to uh, make this nice and tight. And then I have faced the post uh, flat. Let's see, it should be another one here. Yep. And this one actually this saxophone actually had uh, bushings on most I can flip it around and maybe show you it again just so you can see a couple of them to make sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, this one had most of the posts and the saxophone had been bushed already. Um, they just needed to be flattened out because they were not flat to start with. Also, incidentally on the saxophone is some really beautiful engraving uh, done by Jason Dumars. Since this was a relacquer, uh, the engraving was very washed out, so Jason uh, recut it and elaborated and made something that's really beautiful. So that's it for this one. Short video, but uh, just wanted to show you an example of a post bushing in a saxophone.